President Bola Tinumbu has been said may be preparing for a lifetime presidency because his activities are being unchecked. Daniel Eniola, a public analyst, in an exclusive interview with Legidus NG said the National Assembly has failed to put the president in check. According to Eniola, President Tinumbu's supporters and campaigners are already feeling regrets because of his policies. <laughs> they don't know. They never see something. Yeah, Tinumbu has been doubted about the possibility of him sacking some of his ministers because he may be preparing for a lifetime presidency and the calls from some Nigerians are justified. Daniel Eniola, a public commentator, made the comments while speaking with Legitus of NG in an exclusive interview, adding that the president had been acting without being checked by the National Assembly. He put them there now. Is it Akbabio? When uh, Buhari was there, who was the chair, the, the Senate president, Ahmad Lawa? Huh? Everybody say, oh, rubber stamp, rubber stamp. This one, eh? I don't even know what he, how they want to describe this this one way Akbabio they do. This one, eh? I don't know. Please let us know in the comment section what you think is Akbabio doing there. Because as, as his stance, it's worse. His actions and operation as the Senate president is worse than that of a uh, Ahmad Lawa. If you can describe Ahmad Lawa as a rubber stamp, I don't know what will this one will be described as because <laughs> they are not even doing anything there's no bill that they are just passing they are not even presenting any bill to pass they will just come on their own accord they are the ones that will not suggest that say uh, president don't you think you need this remember when it was when it was time for them to buy this a uh, private jet they were the one that said oh some of them you know of course no we know how all of these things play they say oh yes this uh, this thing is not befitting to Tinumbu again no because it's uh, the the jets had a problem they were the ones that suggested it so anything that Tinubu wants to do they will even, even if he does not remember they will tell him oh God, don't you think you, you need this that is exactly what is happening unlike a Buhari's time at least they will say they will take the whatever be to Ahmad Lawa their own is just to sign it <laughs> Daniel explained that uh, many people who campaign and voted for Tinubu may with the hope that his policies would ease the pain of Nigerians and now feeling the bruise of his actions and regrets. The analyst said, I don't even know if we should be calling for the sack of any of the ministers or just appeal to President Bola Tinubu to resign and go home to enjoy himself. Why I support those calling for the minister's resignations or campaigning for their removal, they should be reminded that these men are only following in the footsteps of the man who called them to the table to dine with him. And that is another thing. You think they are going to be doing anything without the knowledge of Tinubu himself? You are joking. And when people always talk about say, DSS, ESCC, DDDDD, they are not independent. Who put them there? Is it not the same Tinubu? Are you going to work against him? You talk about the CBN governor, you talk about the finance minister, all the policies they are, they are, they are dishing out, they are the policies of Tinubu, not their own. Because if Tinubu is not uh, in tune with them if he's not in line with them of course he would have called them to order they are doing his bidding this is Tinubu that is doing all of that even when you come out to talk about uh, Mele Kiari, the nmpc the gdf the gmd or whatever he call himself you think he's doing everything in his own accord no just like uh, we are saying that uh, emefele you can blame emefele for not eternity all emefele did was was instructed were instructed by Tinu, by buhari just like i said buhari uh, Jonathan was there to this uh, other man, Dasuki. Mm. So, if you blame all these people as your own period, unless we change the constitution, that the president will not be appointing all these uh, key positions in the country. People who really believe in Tinubu thought he was going to transform the Nigeria and implement policies that will be that will better their the lives of the people. But the reverse is the case. Some of his foot soldiers are already lamenting after some so much noise about him building Lagos State. Even though he did nothing to better Lagos as the governor, I don't understand who. This Lagos building, which Lagos he built? By creating Agberus. A woeful performance is allowed because no one is putting the presidency in check. The National Assembly has failed and it is easy for any man to call his friends and their children to be ministers despite lacking what it takes to be a councillor. Many ministers should be replaced but i doubt anything would change because i don't even think the president himself is committed to any positive change 
the trend shows that he may just be preparing for a lifetime presidency. Okay, now we shall see. Tinubu made the demand while retreating. Tinubu demands good citizenships from Nigeria. It is you that will do the right thing. But they themselves, they don't call them to order. If you say anything, PM, they will arrest you. <laughs> you know, even fit Tinubu say that people have been arrested under his government. You know, fit now. He's expecting good uh, citizenships from Nigerians. He made this demand while retreating his commitment to good governance for one nice statement and the need for Nigerians to make sacrifices in taking the country forward. I have seen a lot of his supporters then that were talk, they were always talking about it. Oh, Tinubu is going to do this. All of them are on social media now. They are just debated. They are just doing other programs. They are not even doing any program related to state of the nation because they are so ashamed of themselves. Hmm. Yes. He's telling Nigerians to do the need to, to sacrifice in taking the country forward. Nigerians have expressed mixed reactions to the video, with some asking the president to address the economic issues facing the country. Okay, well, all that's right. Continue to wait. You will wait in vain. Mm. The journey had already started. We are watching the drama. I don't even quite agree to this. Not this Nigeria. It's 2027. Even Regan is under threat. More so if he dead God. We trick him dumb. Nigeria is not even Cameroon, where Pobia has been on throne since 1981 or 1982. I'm powerless. If I have power, he should be gone from being president. But God is a merciful God. How can I buy one, buy 10 liters of fuel for almost 11,000 naira? That under Buari could have happened just 1,200, just 200 naira. Tinubu floats Naira for an exporting country and economy. Oh. Hmm, not in Nigeria. Forget to. Not in Nigeria. All of these things are happening. Not in Nigeria. And they are happening. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.